Billy Vessels, and it'll be our pleasure to share with you the thrilling play-by-play -play of what promises to be a tremendous football game between two great teams, Alabama and Texas. The Crimson Tide of Paul Bear Bryant, the number one college team in the land. Against Coach Darrell Royals, Texas Longhorns, the team that was number one last year and number four this season. The weather, a balmy 70 degrees, partly cloudy, slight possibility of showers. The wind will play a small factor in the game. It's about 12 miles per hour. The crowd, an absolute sellout, 72,000. Not a ticket available anywhere throughout Miami. A very colorful sight here, the first of the Orange Bowl games at night, the first bowl game played at night, actually. The field green down below us with the white lettering and the numerals, the Orange Bowl in big white letters on the end, either end of the field, ringed with the bands, nine of them. A very colorful setting. The crowd, 72,000, some of them in their shirt sleeves in the 70 degree weather. Some with sweaters, some with jackets, and a few with raincoats because there is a possibility of a few showers. But indeed, it is a beautiful and colorful setting. And it'll be my pleasure, as I mentioned, to share this microphone with Billy Vessels, the All-American from Oklahoma. Billy, I know it's a thrill for you living here in Miami to see this site, the first of the bowl games ever to be played at night. I know you have observations about the team, their coaches. I know you want to tell our fans about them. Jim, I wish the fans could be here to see this beautiful site in front of us now. Uh, the Orange Bowl committee has done a great thing in shifting this game tonight. Uh, we have uh, a great reception here. It's the greatest demand on the tickets in the history of the Orange Bowl. And what a beautiful sight it is. Uh, the band forming here on the end zone, ready to bring out uh, the theme tonight for pageantry, which will be the recreation of the composing of the national anthem. Uh, and I think the real theme of this game is going to be the standings at the end of the season. Alabama, number one. Uh, Texas, number four. Texas, of course, losing that one ball game, 13 to 12. Uh, as the fans probably know, they went for the two-point try and tried to win uh, over Arkansas, which was victorious today in the Sugar Bowl, I might say. And they think that they should still be number one in the nation. And that, Billy, and Ray. David Ray is all set to kick off. Deep for the Texas Longhorn. Green on the far side. And Harris on the near side. And there's the kick. Waiting for it is Green in the 5. He's to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, the 25. Fights his way across the 30-yard line. On the 31, so it'll be first and 10 off of the Longhorns on their own 31-yard line. As the Orange Bowl of 1965 gets off to a roaring start from 72,000 fans. With a wing right, strong to the right side now. Driving with the ball is Kristen Nick, the quarterback, and he goes across the 35, up to about the 36-yard line. A gain of about three yards before Crane came in to make the stop. Jim, Alabama will be running what they call a monster defense. It's actually a 5-3 setup with the three linebackers, but the one linebacker going to the strong side each time. Friday on emphasis on this NBC station. Jim Gibbons along with Billy Vessels here at the crowd hums as Texas looks like they might be set to put on a small size drive. Kristenek driving, gets the first down across the middle as he goes across the 35, up to about the 36 to 37 yard line. Jack Howe, the center doing a fine job of blocking for him as he went up to the 38-yard line. The first first down of the ball game. Simmons, Jim Simmons, the big left tackle, a senior from Piedmont, Alabama, came in to make the stop. It's wing left this time, strong side to the left. With the ball is Coy. Coy going wide to his left, turns the corner at the 40, goes to the 42. Across the field before he is tripped up and brought down in the 42-yard line by Gilmer, Creed Gilmer, who plays defensive right end, and Paul Crane. Ball in the 42 on the inbound hash mark from the far side of the field. Once Texas moving to the east with the ball. This time again is Coy sweeping the ends as he comes across the 45 and fights his way up to the 50-yard line. And a beautiful power drive on the part of Ernie Coy. Six feet two, 220 pounds. Got a good block that time from Harold Phillips and Billy Vessels. The Texas Longhorns are at the moment sweeping the ends of Alabama. Oh, with, with very devastating power, this Ernie Coy is, is one of the finest runners in the country, a combination tailback and fullback. Texas now has put on the longest drive of the game from the 25 up to the 50. Coy once again sweeps to the left, goes outside the end, gets up to the 45-yard line before he's brought down. Ernie Coy taking the pitch back from Marv Kristenick, the quarterback. 
was finally pulled down by Lewis Thompson after he picked up some five yards to their own eight-yard line as Texas now will dig in to try to stop them. A defensive battle so far between the Texas Longhorns, the number four team in the country, and Alabama, the national champions, who are undefeated. And at quarterback is Sloan, Harris and Ogden the has. Bowman is in there at full. Going with the ball and driving straight ahead, Harris. Hudson Harris whirls his way over the 10-yard line as he goes off his own right guard and gets up to the 11-yard line. So from the 8-yard line to the 11, a gain of three for the Crimson Tide. It's second down, seven yards to go, no score in the ball game. As NBC sends the 1965 Orange Bowl Classic your way, the first night bowl game in history. Rounds upfield on the 50-yard line. So uh, the Texas Longhorns are going to have pretty good field position. They'll have this ball now at midfield. As they put it in play, they have had the longest sustained drive of the evening so far in what's been a tremendously strong defensive battle. They moved the ball on their last drive, 33 yards. Wing right this time, the power to the right. With the ball is Kristinick going back, looking downfield, throws, and it is complete to Lamons and a beautiful catch on the 38-yard line. Lamons with Texans right around, rather Alabamans right around him. But a flag went down. A flag went down as he caught the ball, and interference, I believe, will be chalked off against Texas, uh, Alabama. That's right, against Alabama's Mosley. The ball is between the 38 and the 39-yard line. A long gain on the part of the Texas Longhorns. The ball is on the 36-yard line of Alabama. It's fourth down and seven yards to go. We have no score in this ball game as Ernie Coy drops back to punt. Who was in at left end? We'll check that for you in just a moment. No score in this ball game. On the handoff, quickly this time, to Kelly, and Kelly tries to go off his own right tackle and gets to about the 23-yard line, and that is all before Giles. Barney Giles along with Tommy Nobis coming in to make the stop. So it'll be third down, seven yards to go, no score in this ball game. Alabama and Texas in the Orange Bowl with three minutes, 24 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Time blitzing to bring him down, back of the line of scrimmage on the 20. And it'll be fourth down and 10 yards to go. And Buddy French, the punter, who has an average of 42.4. That's his specialty, that's all he does for the time with Harris to the left. He is in motion with the ball. Is Kristen Hick. He fumbles it and it's recovered by Alabama. Alabama has the ball at the 40-yard line as Cecil Doughty came in. He is the one that recovered. Stevens is the fellow who hit Kristen Hick. The ball popped high on the air and the Crimson Tide has its first opportunity at a score at the 40-yard line of Texas. This is the first time tonight that Alabama has gotten into Texas territory, and they are just shy of the 40-yard line. The ball in the eye formation. Going with the ball is Bowman. Bowman gets across the 40 as he goes outside his own right tackle. Off the left side of the Texas line, and down he goes in the 39. A gain of two. It'll be second down and about eight yards to go. Seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Alabama and Texas. And Alabama with their first scoring opportunity. Texas Longhorns, no score in the ball game. Wing right this time. With the ball is Coy. Coming to his right, turns the corner, gets across the 25 to 30. He's at the 40. He's at midfield. He's at the 45, the 40, down to the 30, the 20, the 15. He may go all the way. He's in there for a touchdown. Ernie Coy on a beautiful 80 yard run for a touchdown. Coy. He took the pitch out, came to his right, turned the corner on the near side of the field, got up to the 40, found blocking, came straight up this sideline to the opposite 40, veered to his left and went all the way in for a score. And now, trying for the point after is Conway, and he hasn't missed so far this year. 24 of 24. There it is. It's good. And Texas leads by a score of 7 to nothing. Absolutely beautiful run there by Ernie Coy. It's the play they've been running all, all the way back 27 yards to the 29-yard line. Three seconds remaining. Two. The first quarter will be over before another play gets underway. That's the end of the first quarter. <laughs> Left end. Cook at the right end. 
Ogden once again wide to the right as Sloan goes back to pass. Looks downfield, throws long, has a man in the open. It's Ogden. He has it on the 30-yard line of Texas. Down he goes on the 26-yard line. A long play from Sloan to Ogden. Ogden took that ball on the far side of the field on about the 30-yard line, 35-yard line of Texas and carried it down to the 27-yard line before he was brought down. Jimmy had to stop and wait for that ball. If he, if he did not have to stop there, I think he would have been all the way for a touchdown because there wasn't anyone within 20 yards of him. But he had to... With Tollison split wide to the right, calling the signals to Sloan. In motion is Ogden. With the ball is Sloan. He pitches back to Kelly. Kelly's at the 20, down to the 15 as he turns the corner and gets inside to the 13-yard line. Leslie Kelly took the pitch out from Sloan as Sloan was gliding behind the line to his right. He pitched back to Kelly. Kelly turned the corner at the 25-yard line, went out downfield to the 13-yard line for a first down for Alabama. And out left, in motion is Ogden, calling the signal Sloan. Sloan pitches back to Kelly. Kelly goes to his left, turns the corner, gets down to about the 10-yard line before he's brought down. Again, Leslie Kelly, this time in the same play to the opposite side of the field. He was brought down after he picked up three yards. It'll be second down, seven yards to go for a first down, 10 yards away from pay dirt for a second down and seven. With the ball is Bowman. Bowman goes over his own left guard down to about the eight yard line before he's brought down. Bowman in a quick burst behind his own left guard, the right side of the Texas line gets down to about the eight yard line before Tommy Nobis came in to make the stop. Holding will be Edwards, or, or Elmore rather. There's the kick. It's no good. No good. And the score remains. Tex Hudson is in at quarterback. He's passing long. Sowers in the open. He has it on the 20, the 15, the 10. He'll score. A 69-yard scoring play on the part of the Texas Longhorns as Darrell Royal sent in his co-captain, a senior, Jay Hudson, and Sauer, his top receiver, and Sauer went downfield on the right side, and Hudson threw a beautiful pass to him, a strike for a touchdown, 69 yards, and now Conway will try to kick his 26 point after touchdown. There it is, and it's good. And the Texas Longhorns lead by a score of 14 to nothing. Conway who kicked off on the 14 yard line. And Joe Namath is in at quarterback for Alabama. Tim, I can't emphasize enough the position that Texas has put Alabama in all night. They haven't had but one decent chance at trying to open. Tollison is wide to the left. Joe Namath back to pass, takes his time, fires downfield, it's complete. On the 35, the ball carrier's up to the 40 and is brought down on the 40-yard line. Tollison, who had split to the left, took this perfect strike from Joe Namath and was brought down at the 40-yard line. Again, all the way from the 15 up to the 40. A gain of 25 yards in the play and a first down for Alabama. And you can bet your life now, Billy Vessels, the tide will be taken to the air. They trail by a score of 14 to nothing. Hogan is wide to the left, Tollison to the right. There's the pass. It's complete from Namath, who straight, drops straight back, and indeed he throws that ball well. As again, he finds Tommy Tollison on the 48-yard line. An eight-yard gain in the play. It'll be second down and two to go. Jim, in just two plays, he's convinced me why he is the most soft after pro, spot, pro prospect this year. He really throws that ball, and he throws it quick. All right, Billy, Ray is in the ball game now, and he's wide to the right. Again, Namath. Completes the pass at the 40, and the ball carrier is upended as he gets across the 40. It was Bowman down to the 38-yard line. It was Trimble, number 20, not 30. Trimble, who is in that ball game now, and he took the ball down on the 38-yard line, and it's another first down for Alabama. And on the part of Hudson to Sauer. Joe Namath back to pass, and he completes it. This time to Tollison. He's across the 25, down to about the 23-yard line. A first down as Namath, obviously, and limping on the field, is nevertheless throwing that ball. We have a timeout for Texas. And it's Ray this time that's wide to the right. Namath throwing down the middle. It's complete for a touchdown. A beautiful catch for a touchdown by Tremble. The 
Rockets going off under the scoreboard. The sound you heard, an 87-yard scoring drive culminated on a seven-yard scoring play from Namath to Trimble, and Ray now will try to add the extra point. Elmore holding. There it is. It's good. And Texas lead has been cut 14 to 7. In motion is Harris. Hudson on the keeper play. Drives over his own right tackle and goes to about the 43 or 44 yard line before he's brought down by Giles. Rather by Bates. Tim Bates, the linebacker, came in to make the stop on the 44. So it'll be second down and six yards to go now for the Longhorns. Texas Longhorns lead the ball game 14 to 7. Then the ball game is wide to the right. Driving straight ahead with the ball is the fullback. Phillips and Phillips gets across the 45 up to about the 48 or 49 yard line. And the no went up because they set the ball back from the 49 to the 48 and a half. Texas is going to go for the yardage. They lead. With the ball is Coy. And Coy has that first down as he glides to his right and then turns a corner going off his own right tackle. Outside the tackle, inside the end. Off the left side of Alabama, down to the 49-yard line of the Tide, and he has the first down. On third down, 10 yards to go. Hudson calling the signals. He's dropping back to pass. Hit just as he throws, but he completes it on a beautiful pass down the far sideline as the receiver, George Sauer, takes it over the 35 and goes out of bounds on about the 33-yard line. Another first down for the Longhorns as Ray, David Ray, drove him out of bounds, but a beautiful completion on the part of Hudson wide to the left. Hudson dropping back to pass. He's being pressured back in the 40. Elects to run with the ball at the 35, at the 30. Out of bounds on about the 27 or 28-yard line. Hudson, the co-captain, quarterbacking for Texas, couldn't find anybody open. Chasing him in the backfield was Creed Gilmer. He just got away and got inside the 30 and out of bounds on the 28-yard line. A fine effort on the part of Hudson. It looked like uh, Billy Vessels, he was going to be trapped back in the backfield. Looked like it was going to be a, a very severe loss there for Texas, but he kept running, and he came on and, and picked up some very needed yardage and in a good position now to make the first and 10. Yard effort. College ball. The goal post are behind his block. <laughs> Alabama picks up the ball and runs with it and gets it up to about the 40-yard line. A wild scramble. I thought the ball was going to be killed at the 35, but I believe it may be Texas ball as the ball carrier fumbled the ball. We'll see now whether Texas got it or Alabama got it. Let's see who owns that football. Texas is calling timeout. Texas ball. The ball carrier from Alabama across the way fumbled the ball and when he fumbled it, it was a free ball, and Texas, I didn't get the number of the uh, Texas uh, Longhorn who picked it up, but apparently Billy Vessels, Texas recovered that ball. Oh, what a, what a break that is. There it is, 14 to nothing, going in second, into the second quarter, and uh, trying to, to stay out of a little trouble by uh, adding on a field goal, and Alabama put a great rush on there, Jim, and uh, blocked it. The man picked it up during the wild scramble, men picked it up and ran with it and then fumbled upon being tackled. It would have been their ball, but they ran with it. It became a free ball. Ernie Coy takes the handoff and darts over his own left guard inside the 10, down to about the seven-yard line before he's brought down. Ernie Coy, the big left halfback, 6'2", 220 pounds, got inside the 10, down to the 7, 79-yard run. Hudson back to pass, looks out and throws, and it is. Is it good? I believe it is. Down at about the three-yard line, and a beautiful catch by Pete Lamont. Lamont made a tremendous catch down on the two-and-a-half-yard line. He was falling down as he caught that ball, well defended, incidentally, but by Ray. But the ball is down on about the two-and-a-half-yard line. We have 37 seconds remaining in the first half. Time definitely a factor. Texas leading by a score of 14... Hudson waiting for the pass from center. He gets it, gives it to Coy. Coy is in there for a touchdown, going off his own right tackle. Coy, who 
took the pitch back from Hudson, got the blocking on the right side of his line, went over, and now Conway tries for the point after, and he boots it through there perfectly, and pitches lead by a score of 21 to 7. The first half is all over. That's the end of the first half with a score, Texas 21, Alabama 7. Third down, 13 yards to go. Christian it glides to his right, keeps the ball, gets the 25, spins away from a tackler and goes out of bounds on about the 29-yard line. Actually, he had moved up field across the 30 to the 35, but they say he stepped out of bounds on about the 29-yard line. So it'll be fourth down and still plenty of yards to go, and Ernie Coy will get set to punt for Texas. The Longhorns lead the ball game 21 to 7. Alabama flanked out wide to the right. Namath dropping straight back, looking downfield, fires the ball, it's complete to Tolleson, and Tolleson is dropped in uh, his own territory on about the 45-yard line. Tim Doerr, the co-captain of Texas, playing one of the linebacking spots, came in to make the stop as the officials now wipe off the ball in the 44-yard line. A gain of seven yards in the play. It's second down and three yards to go for Alabama on their own 44. They trail in the ball game, 21 to seven. We're in the third quarter. 12 minutes, 3 seconds remaining. Next 21, Alabama 7. Driving with the ball, a rip it is uh, name it. He passes, complete to Cook. Cook takes it on the 40. A very fine fire fake on the part of Bowman that time, who looked like he had the ball as he drove into the line, but Namath kept it right on his hip, dropped back and fired a completion for a first down to Cook on the 40-yard line. Yeah, this is us. This Namath has the fastest hands that I've ever seen on a quarterback. It's unbelievable how fast he gets the ball away once he has picked out his receiver. 18 yards in from this, the south side. Namath with the ball. He gives to Bowman this time, and Bowman goes from the 40 down to about the 38-yard line. Score is Texas 21, Alabama 7. But Alabama has come charging back here in the second half. They have moved from their own 38-yard line to the 38-yard line of the Texas Longhorns. We have 10 minutes, 31 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Score. Tolleson is wide to the left, Ogden wide to the right. Name it back to pass on fourth down. Throws, it's complete to Tolleson. He's at the 20 for a first down. Tommy Tolleson took that good throw from Joe Namath, gambling for a first down, and they pick it up down on the 20-yard line. So it's first and 10 with 9 minutes, 47 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Bogdan is in motion with the ball. His name is Heathrow's. It's complete and a beautiful catch for a touchdown to Perkins. into this ball game as Joe Namath takes them some 62 yards, throwing to Perkins right in the goal line. He fell into the end zone. Here's the try for point after. It's good. There's a timeout in the field with the score. Texas 21, Alabama 14. Fair ball on their own 20-yard line. Kristen again. He hands off to his fullback. Phillips and Phillips drives straight ahead over his own right guard and he gets up to about the 27 or 28 yard line. We'll see where they mark it down. They put it down on the 28, an eight yard gain before Paul Crane came in to make the stop. And the short side of the playing field, wing right with Harris, wing, going with the ball is the big uh, Ernie Coy, the left half back to tailback and he drives over his own left guard all the way up to the 40 yard line before Tim Bates brings him down and Texas now has gone for some 21 yards as they were stung by the 62-yard scoring play of Alabama. Texas leads 21 to 14, and they're fighting back. Uh, this time, in motion is uh, Harris with the ball. As the flag goes down, is Derrick, who has come into the ball game at the right side for Texas, and he has dropped. But there are flags on the turf. And now Red Cavett will tell us what the infraction is. 21 to 14 is the score. Texas leading with 7 minutes, 11 seconds remaining. Penalty was uh, against Texas, declined by Alabama. McDowell Rowe has taken this opportunity to put his defensive unit back in the ball game, and we might see a third down kick here, or a very conservative play. I believe he's going to kick. Uh, third quarter, 
stopped uh, Texas a moment ago as Curley came through in a very fine defensive play to force them to kick. And now Joe Namath once again goes back to pass. He throws. It's complete to Perkins on a great catch across the 35, up to about the 36 or 37 yard line. Perkins, uh, who has not gotten up and may be hurt. He's lying on the turf on the 36-yard line, and Alabama will call timeout with an injured player. It'll be third down and three yards to go. Five minutes, 53 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. A hush over the crowd as Perkins, who caught a touchdown pass a few moments ago and made a fine reception. Uh, he, since this man can catch him in the crowd, Billy, Ray Perkins, he gets up. He's all right. He's going out of the ball game, however, and Tommy Collison is coming in for him. It'll be fourth down and about uh, two yards to go. So now Texas uh, leading 21 to 14. Wing right this time. The ball is on the far side of the field. Kristinick with the ball, comes to this side. He turns the corner across the 25, fights his way over the 30, up to the 33-yard line. Fine effort on the part of Marv Kristinick. He was hit in the 30. Kerry Tackler's with him up to about the 33-yard line. Brought down by Tommy Tallison. Looks like he gained enough for a first and 10 on that play, Jim. And again, I have to say that he reminds me so much of his coach, Darrell Royal, when Darrell was playing at the University of Oklahoma. That tough little player coming on with a second effort, trying to get every inch that he can. And burst up field, and Hudson tried to hit him on the dead run, but the pass was high. So it'll be fourth down and eight yards to go. Two minutes, 42 seconds remaining. Joe Namath dropping straight back, throws a quick pass, and it's complete in the 40. The ball carrier is down on the 40-yard line. It was Wayne Cook, and Joe Namath just took that ball, stepped back one step, and flipped it right over the line, and the quick look-in pass to Wayne Cook, and Cook was down over the 40 on the 39-yard line. A gain of some eight yards on the play. It'll be second down and two yards to go, and now Texas has their work cut out for them. The Longhorns lead the ball game, 21 to 14. Hopper has come in for Cook. 21 to 14 the score, Texas leads, but Alabama threatens and Namath is pressured out of the pocket, throws downfield on a comeback reception. It's complete inside the 30, fights his way down to the 25-yard line. Ray Ogden, who was downfield, came back to make that catch. Fine effort, Billy, on the part of Ogden and Namath. Wonderful catch, and he was almost away for a touchdown there. He, he almost broke away from him, but I, I just can't get over how fast. I thought he was going to be thrown for a loss, Jim. They had four men rushing him, and while he was backing up, he hit Ogden with that beautifully thrown pass. Right, Perkins to the left. Namath is back to throw. He throws. It's complete. This time to Tremble, and Tremble is inside the 20, inside the 15, out of bounds on the 12-yard line. Wayne Tremble taking the quick throw from Joe Namath and goes out of bounds on the 12-yard line. 29 seconds remaining in the third quarter, and Alabama has caught on fire. They trailed at halftime by a score of 21 to 7. They moved 62 yards for a touchdown, and now they're deep in Texas territory. That's the end of the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter with a score, Texas 21, Alabama 14. During the season, is ready to boot it. There it goes, and it is good. Splits the uprights for three points. And the ball game has tightened up. It's Texas 21, Alabama 17. For the Texas Longhorns, they lead the ball game 21 to 17. With the ball is Ernie Coy. Ernie glides to his right, cuts the corner, gets across the 35, and gets up to about the 37-yard line before he's brought down. A gain of about uh, three yards on the play. It'll be second down and approximately seven yards to go. The ball is brought in to the inbound hash mark on the far side of the field. Penalty, and uh, Texas will now be forced to kick. Ball in their own 20-yard line. They trail in the ball game. Nemeth back to pass. Throws. It's complete. The ball carries at the 30. Out of bounds. On about the 34-yard line. It was Wayne Tremble who took the little pass out on the flat on the 25 to the left side, the far side of the playing field. Scooted across the 30 and was belted out of bounds. On the 33, they say, by Joe Dixon. And down at the University of Nebraska. Joe Namath back to pass, standing back on the 24. Has to get out of there, elects to run with the ball. He's at the 35, 40, and down he goes on the 41. And Joe Namath was trapped back there, got away from the tacklers, and ran upfield inside the 40 to about the 41-yard line. A good effort on the part of Namath. 
12 minutes, 39 seconds remaining. It'll be fourth down, and let's see how far they are away from a first down. About two or three yards. The Longhorns bounce back to stop Bama. It's the brilliant Ernie Coy over tackle for eight. This time it's Phillips for five. Watch closely this unusual play. Kristinek attempts to pass while being tackled by Gilmer. The ball is blocked, bounces in the air, and is recovered by the tied puller at the Texas 34. The clock picks away as this frantic last-minute block-busting cliffhanger continues. Namath fires one to Ogden for 18 yards. This time, Namath drops back. Pitches quickly in the flat to Bowman. Good for 13 yards. Two mighty lines dig in to battle it up. Namath hands off to Bowman over guard for four. The mighty lineman gets set again. Bowman on third down hits the left side of the Texas line for one yard. And the tension mounts with fourth down on the Texas one coming up. Joe Namath on a quarterback sneak, fails by inches, and again in slow motion, a close-up view of this great 65 goal line fight by the nation's two national champions of 1963 and 64. It's a real heartbreaker by inches for Bama, and for the Longhorns, perhaps the greatest goal line stand in Texas history. A mighty battle of inches. A minute 38 seconds remaining here in the Orange Bowl. A tremendous... This is a big play for both teams. Namath back to pass. He throws downfield, and it's no good. Almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by Tim Doerr, the linebacker. Uh, there's a flag on the play. There is a flag on the play right down below us on the 48-yard line. Remaining, and Texas has the football on the 46-yard line. And the Texas Longhorns and Daryl Royal are indeed very happy at this particular moment. With a minute 22 seconds remaining, Marv Kristinek going in at quarterback for them. Seconds. One second. The game is over. Texas wins it, 21 to 17. That's the end of the game with the final score: Texas 21, Alabama 17. Now we'll be back in a moment with the final wrap-up of tonight's game. Jim Gibbons, along with Billy Vessels, after a tremendous, exciting contest between Texas and Alabama, with Texas winning by a score of 21 to 17. Just to review briefly here, Billy, the scoring plays. Texas got off first. The star of their ball game has to be Ernie Coy on an 80-yard run or a 79-yard run. It was really 79 and a half, but we'll make it 79 because that's what it's officially going into the record books as, a new record run from scrimmage and a great run by Coy who uh, gave Texas that explosive play that they wanted, put them out in front by a score of 7 to nothing. Very shortly thereafter, Texas again run the scoreboard on a brilliant pass from Hudson, a fine catch in the part of George Sauer, and they were leading by a score of 14 to nothing. Then Alabama got back in the ball game on an 87-yard scoring drive with Joe Namath, who came off of the bench to lead them downfield. And it was Namath who threw a 7-yard touchdown pass culminating the 87-yard drive to put the tide back in the ballgame at that point by a score of 14 to 7. Then as Alabama had blocked a field goal attempt by Texas, it was fourth down, and all Alabama had to do really was to let the ball be recovered by Texas or recover it themselves, but they tried to pick it up and run with it, and once they did that, they were hit and they fumbled the ball. It then became a free ball, and Texas recovered, and Texas took advantage of that opportunity they went in to score, and at halftime they led by a score of 21 to 7. Alabama, in their tradition, came out in the second half and came charging back and drove 62 yards with Namus passing to Perkins for a score, putting them back in the ball game by a score of 21 to 14. Namus and Alabama then moved downfield, right down to the goal line of Texas, but on fourth down, Joe Namath, on a quarterback sneak from a yard out, could not get it in to that goal line. A great goal line stand by Texas, and the score remained 21 to 17. So while uh, we had uh, all kinds of excitement, uh, it was Texas who came out with the victory, 21-17. Billy Vessel's a great ball game.
Jim, again, let me say it's the greatest football game I've ever watched. A uh, most exciting game. Joe Namath, although in defeat, uh, had to put on one of the greatest performances ever, ever witnessed here in the 31-year history of the Orange Bowl. Namath, who is going to be signing the contract with the New York Jets very shortly, uh, had to set uh, all kinds of new records for passing uh, here at the Orange Bowl. A beautiful game, a very hard-fought game, uh, coming in with supposedly conservative coaches. Uh, it was a wide-open ball game, a game uh, with many thrills, many heartbreaks. Uh, coming out of the end zone on the punting situation, Jim, I thought...